Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's a little disappointing, obviously, but I think we could all wake up today feeling proud of, of what we accomplished and uh, and knowing that we finished off uh, real strong in the last 30 games. We played at a real high level, and um, it's unfortunate, but. You know, f- you know, 42 wins and uh, what is it, 87 points can't get you in, then so be it. You know, we just have to build on the positives for next year. Yeah, and a lot of positives. 42 wins, first team in HL history, 77 year HL history, not to make the playoffs with 42 wins. Offense was one goal away from the top offense in the league. This was a tough team to play against, so it was a lot of fun to watch. I'm sure a lot of fun to, to coach as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was fun for sure. I'm real proud of the team and uh, and the effort we displayed the last uh, you know half of the year, and uh, a lot of guys stepped up their game and, and really uh, contributed in in big ways. You know, Brandon Peary leading the league in scoring is great. Uh, ben Smith coming back here at the end of the year was was a big boost for our team. He's on fire, and then Jeremy Jeremy Morin getting 30 goals a big accomplishment and. Uh, for our team to, to get 42 wins as well, so it was a lot of positives. I was going to say, boy, to run down the list of guys, it would it would take you know all afternoon here to, to kind of do that, but you were looking for guys to take that next step this year. We talked about it at the start of the year. You just named three of them, and guys definitely did. And you can also throw in you know Jimmy Hayes, a Ryan Stanton, Klaus Dahlbeck, even though he was quote-unquote a rookie in North America this year. So you had plenty of guys that didn't make that next step this year, right? Yeah, a lot of guys for sure. I mean, our, our whole defense... Uh, you know, Sean Lalonde had had a good year uh, as well. Stanton and uh, Clendenning coming in as a rookie and doing what he did. So, uh, lots of positives. And um, you know, unfortunate. Unfortunately, we, we we'd love to be in the playoffs, playing some high level games. But I think over the last fifteen twenty games, you know, our our mentality was a, it was a playoff mentality, and we played some hard uh, hard fought games. How quick before you look forward to next year? I'm sure you, Ronnie, probably you know get the guys in and out of here and, and, and kind of hit the reset button a little bit and, and, and clear the head, but how long before you look ahead to 2013-14? Yeah, not for a while. Mike, you know, we got the, the, the Hawks are still playing and a lot of these guys will be involved uh, as black aces for that. And we're actually going to be on the ice tomorrow with uh, with a bunch of guys. Barry Smith's coming to town for the rest of the week. and um, So it really never stops, but uh, you know, as far as next year's thoughts, and uh, that'll that that won't start probably till uh, till June. Um, you know, when we start deciding, or, or Chicago really tells us who might who we might get, and uh, we're going to be young next year for sure. We do know that we're going to have a young team and, and start the process all over again.